I think I might be getting tropical fever. I wonder if those bowling shoes came from the bowling alley in town. One way to find out. Well, I won't find out that way. I need a more spy-like way of getting those shoes. That tree branch is hanging right over the top of that quicksand. It's a very nice color of wood, too. All right, Granny, do your stuff. My guess is whoever was wearing these doesn't need them anymore. They're not my size, but I'll hang on to them anyway. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying chickle for my PhD in gummatology, but some pink clad pranksters locked all of the chickle inside Chickle Pichu. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. I've got to use the... Grandfather Fox had a saying, a penny in the hand is just a penny. You need a better job. I bet there is some connection between those symbols and the ones on the hieroglyph code in front of Chickle Pichu. There must be a connection be Hello there, the name's Fox. Spy Fox. What are you doing up here? I'm Stanley Ellington Seagull, intrepid adventurer. I'm on safari. A safari, hmm? How exciting. Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? I should say so, old bean. It's the only thing I found to eat in this dreadful jungle. Morning, noon, and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the Queen's Royal Jewels for a new-fashioned donut. Well, that sounds like a very interesting trade, but how about some tapioca for the donut instead? For a new fashion donut, you can have a whole bag of tapioca. What's the most imp... I cracked the code! Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Then I can get in there and get that chickle. One new fashion donut, if you don't mind. Coming right up. Get your fresh fried donut right here. Mmm, donut delicious. Interesting, but I don't. Here's a pair of bowling shoes. Can I have those flippers, sport? Yeah, okay. There isn't any water within a thousand miles of here. What do you use those for? I like to put them on and pretend I'm a duck. 
Uh-huh. Takes all kinds, I suppose. You sure have a lot of bowling shoes. Yeah, if only I had a lot of bowlers to rent them. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. Ready there. There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today. Here you are, Stanley. One delicious, if not nutritious, new fashion donut. Jolly good. That hit the spot. Here you are, then. One bag of the freshest tapioca you'll ever find. Thanks, Stanley. Tasty tapioca, a key ingredient to success. That's a neat pith helmet. Tool of the trade. It's... I'd like a brown gravy glazed donut, please. Coming right up. Here you are. One tasty fried donut. Thanks, Pia. I'll just save this for later. I don't want to carry around two donuts. So, for the good of the mission, it's down the hatch with the donut I've got. I don't want to carry around two donuts. So, for the good of the mission, it's down the hatch with the donut I've got. Here you are, Pia. Fresh tapioca straight from the jungle. Can you make me a secret donut XY now? Well, I'll be fresh tapioca. One secret donut XY coming up. There you are, Mr. Fox. One fresh hot secret donut XY. Enjoy! Thanks, Pia. This donut could be the key to saving the entire planet. Oh my gosh! Planet Broadway is in danger? Eh, no. Planet Earth. Oh! Hmm. Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen. Poodle's brand SPF 2001. Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shy. Ah, 
the lake. There's a big mining platform in the middle of it. That must be Poodle's beauty clay operation. Hello there, my name's Spy Fox. How's it going? I'm Wet Eddie. I'm into scuba diving. How about you? Danger, intrigue, and espionage is my game. Hmm. Are you sure I can't borrow your scuba suit just for a little while? Sorry, not until you have flippers. Safety first. But you don't have flippers. With feet like these, who needs flippers? I found a pair of flippers. Can I use your scuba suit now, Wet Eddie? Sure, Spy Fox. You know, I was just concerned about safety and all. Of course, when it comes to water, safety first. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait, uh, I got it. You got it? Have you seen anything interesting? This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's gotta be bad for business. You don't have any gum, do you? Why do you ask that? Well, I feel like chewing gum, but never mind. What kind of merchandise do you specialize in? Exotic imports and, you know, stuff. You don't have any gum, do you? Why do you... I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Dixie's flaming lip gloss. That must be some kind of code phrase. If only I knew what the correct response was. I'd like the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, please. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. I'm sure that's some kind of code phrase. I'm going to need the response code to get that amulet. I need the ancient am... Please stand by. The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Mobile come... My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's Cosmetic Factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah! It must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious! And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox! I'm out of here! Plan B! It says Universal Imports. I'd like the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, please. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. Hmm, that... It's the Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Pink Hoochie Poochie Shadow. Pressing that button, access the white pants face powder. Minty green loot blue powdered pussy Corinthian wrinkles be gone. Salt and pepper sprinkle cream. Make a dish foundation. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. A counter code phrase has appeared on the digital display. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. 
There's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chico Pichu. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. What kind of merchandise? I think I might be getting tropical fever. <laughs> The amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Those metal monsters look like they could make mincemeat out of me. That was a little dicey. Sneaky spy maneuver number 37 is no match for those blades. I'm going to have to bust my way through. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's instant oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. That chickle is a vital ingredient for the congeal pill. It's also a vital ingredient for chewing gum. That's the gateway to the chickle. Now to get it open. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster and I am a spy. So here goes. I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy. Uh-oh. was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. of which were far superior to the major brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either baste themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. What made you decide to go into the field of gummatology, Trudy? 
Mrs. Carrot walks up to Mr. Cucumber and says, What's the deal, Pickle? So, this is Poodle's Beauty Clay Mining Rig. It's a beauty, all right. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. Better not let him see me. That looks like a chart showing the various colors and textures of Poodle's beauty clay. Coarse umber. I'll have to do more than duck to get past that duck guard. Sneaky spy maneuver number 37 worked like a charm. I snuck right past that guard. Those dials look like they're part of some lock mechanism. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to get Pushpin a sample of bold barium beauty clay from the lake. Bold barium. I'm going to need a scuba suit to dive into that water. I didn't wear my drip dry tux. 